Cancer, this is all about us. It's all about you. It's all about your sun, moon, rising sign. Where does Cancer influence your natal chart? Because that's where you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Lots of predictions coming out here. There's always an extended full blast reading. That link is below uh, and it always includes a romantic prediction out for, out for the next week or so. Um, also, you can uh, tap into romantic tarot. I'm going to try to put the, I will, I will, sometime during this video, that link will be above, or you can just check out the playlist, but welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. I am Michelle. If you're just arriving, please do click subscribe and help the channel grow. And if you really like this video, like the video and share it on other platforms. That would have really help a great deal. So Cancer, no, let's just get right into it. We want to be bold. We want to be badass. We want to be the best of ourselves <laughs> and yet <laughs> and yet I, I see that there might be some issues doing that this week <laughs> okay so everything is flipped over let's look at this crowning energy right here oh that's so beautiful trust in the magic this is an Aquarian energy it's new beginnings it's truth it's honesty it's um something that's just starting and listen I have to remind you guys, because this is really important. Remember how difficult it was being a child? No, you don't. Why? Because it's in the past. And in the past, we always idolize things because it's over and we don't have to experience the pains and the pushes and the pulls and the insecurities that we were experiencing when we were at that age. Being a kid is actually tough. It's a really insecure time. It's a time when you feel like you're always wobbling. You feel like nobody's listening to you. You can feel like you can get trampled on. And sometimes you do get trampled on all the time. It's not easy being young because you're vulnerable. And this is the place that we're at right now. So it's really lovely to say, Cancerians, new beginnings, new horizons. Something is dawning. A new life is unfolding. And how romantic and beautiful that sounds. But the 3D reality of that is back to being a kid, which is back to being vulnerable, back to being in that position of being trampled on, of feeling like nobody listens to you, of feeling like you're way, working against the tide that's way too strong for you. So yes, this is a beautiful time, but don't think it's less beautiful because it's actually difficult simultaneously it's difficult as well because it's still a beautiful time and it's still a new beginning and it's still a magical period remember magic is real absolutely it just it doesn't happen like it, it did in the harry potter movies because you know basically harry potter movies are a two hour reduction of all the experiences that those characters where wherever they lived were living through right we don't live a two hour reduction of our lives. We live every single second, every single minute, every single breath, every single heartbeat. We live through the monotony. We live through the trials. We live through the changes. We live through the, we live through the pains. We live through the joys. We live through every single second. So it's not as exciting as it seems. And it's not a cast of a wand and a magic ripple. And then all of a sudden something appears. Magic in the 3D world is manifestation and manifestation takes time just like growth takes time It's like once upon a time you were a sperm in somebody's ball sack and an egg in somebody's ovaries And who the heck even knew that those two things were even going to get together? There's some sort of fate and pull and magic that's happening all the time and your existence your life force the fact that you're here is a recognition of that but guess what? took time, it took time to grow before you got into this world where you were hanging out in your mama. It took time for you to be able to walk, for you to be able to talk, for you to be able to, like all of those things took time, but they're still real. And that's what I want you to realize. It took, it took time, it took being vulnerable, it took being afraid, it took being new at something, it took being wobbly at something, it took being um, scared all the time, it took being doubtful, it took being not knowing if something was going to happen or something was actually going to come, come through for you. Like it took all of those things and yet here you are and you made it and you're going to make it through this new beginning too and you're going to manifest this new life. And it is magical and please just don't lose sight of the magic because it's more work than 
you think magic should be. Love is all around, but it's upside down, right? And then magic works through you is upside down as well. And ooh, as I flip this up, two more cards that were in reverse flip the other way. So if that's not a statement of magic is working and things are changing, and even when the world looks like it's draining you, it's actually not. So magic works through you being in reverse is there's still magic all around, but it's happening to you. And this nightingale, love is all around, you feel disconnected. This is a feeling of, of being in a state of disconnect, of not realizing the magic that's all around you right now. Um, but you know what? You don't have to realize it for it really to exist, Cancerians. The magic is there. The magic is real. And it's it's working through you. It's happening to you. Um, this is your chance to be picked up and held, to be the baby that's cradled. This is your chance to have the diaper changed. But remember, you have to cry out when you need something, which means you have to allow yourself to be honest about your needs and be vulnerable when you need something. And lots of times, as Cancerians, and this is our card, our card is showing up right in the middle of our own reading, and, but we get it backwards. We get it backwards. We think being vulnerable means that that means that we're not valuable or we won't be valued by others. And the only value we have is when we're of use to other people and we're making their life easier. And that's just a bunch of BS. One of the most wonderful gifts that you can give somebody is needing them is trusting in them, is allowing them to provide for you. But that means that you have to be honest with what you need. Are you being honest with what you need or are you shutting down? End of the day, magic is working to you. It's working whether you realize it or not, Cancerians. You feel, this is Mercury retrograde, 100%. This is this energy of Gemini. This is Gemini energy, but it's in reverse. So it's retrograde. It feels slow. It feels stagnant. It feels like uh, people aren't listening. <laughs> people aren't hearing us. That's what it feels like. But the truth is they are hearing and it's working on a level that we maybe we can't sense or we're not aware of or we're disconnected from or we're the one that's causing the disconnect because maybe we're just not asking for what we need. And in this time of retrograde, I don't know. Let me, let me get into, in this time of retrograde, it's going to, it's going to be difficult. Maybe people are just not hearing what we need. We think we're asking for it, but somehow they're not picking up what we're putting down. Ultimately, there's going to be a lot of communication errors. And I think this is coming out just to let us know, hey, don't focus on the communication errors. Don't let that be your final answer. Don't let the fact that somebody didn't call you back or you didn't hear something or the emails got messed up. If you really, if it really matters to you, reach out again, like look into it some more, go and explore again. Like don't stop at the, um, I'm, like I said, don't, I'm not saying, to, I'm not saying push or don't even don't take no for an answer. I'm saying if there is a question mark in your mind, let yourself ask it, let yourself ask it out loud. It's okay to inquire. It's okay to get more information during a Mercury retrograde. During a Mercury retrograde, especially like during a Mercury retrograde, it is important to gather more information. It is a time of information gathering. So do it like, like be bold and do it. Ask if you're really interested. If you, if you, if something didn't work out or it feels wonky, but it's still in your heart and you'll be very, very aligned because Mercury's retrograding in, in Pisces, you will feel those feelings. You will, you will be very attached to and. Um, my, my dog is laying at my feet. It's so endearing, it really is. Um, you will be very, I, I still think you'll be very connected to psyche, but some of those connections might be misaligning too. So you may have to go back and ask something twice. You may have to go back and read something twice. Don't let it frustrate you or take it to heart or take it to mind and make, make yourself think that, oh, that's a sign that it's not meant to be. That's a bunch of BS. Please don't ever do that. Like th this is almost like forgetting what magic really is by deciding that it's it because it didn't happen easily. It's not meant to happen. That is that neg that really unhealthy mystical thinking of, okay, it's just going to, the, the questions are all going to be answered for me and it's all going to be easy. 
being something being easy is def different than something being good or something being right okay easy is not a benchmark for what the like like it this is the way it's supposed to be so if it didn't go that way fluidly but you still have that voice in your heart that says but it still matters to me then go inquire go ask let yourself be vulnerable and now we have the cards that flip back upright for us spirit has your back this is two plus three, my favorite lucky number. Um, two plus three equals five. And five is that energy of change. But once again, um, hearkening back to this card, magic is not happening to you when it's in reverse. It's happening. I'm sorry. Magic isn't happening through you. When it's in reverse, it's happening to you. It's definitely happening to you. Spirit has got your back. You, 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 you really just have to trust it and believe it. This is uh, the card of higher thinking, foresight, maybe government, maybe law, maybe military, the country. This is a Capricornian energy, that Capricornian energy of um, um, could be karma, but it could also be a sense of um, like um, hard work, devotion, dedication, long-term commitment, stick to this. Like this is your way through it. it, is just stick to it, hard work, dedication. But it's also a sense, and I have to tell you this message, spirit's going to take care of you this week. Okay? When you falter, when you feel the least connected, when you feel alone, you're not. This is like the footsteps in the sand, if you're familiar with that, that Christian fab uh, fable. This is like the, the footsteps in the sand. It's almost like no spirits really got you. You're riding on its wings this week. Don't, if, when you feel alone, think back to this card. It's, you're always going to be connected. It's watching out for you extra special this week. And maybe helping you watch out for what's coming. So that you can clear out the clutter. This is you looking into the future. And this is you actually preparing to let things go. This is, once again, your energy. It's strange how your energy is all over your own reading, but you're very present in your own life this week of being not the, con it's almost like you're being the conductor. You're not the conduit, but it's almost like you're the conductor for this energy that's running through you and flowing through you, okay? So it's like, um, so this energy, this card is the frog and the frog um, grows up as a tadpole, it starts off as a tadpole, starts off as an egg in the water. And essentially, um, the frog is the more mature state of the tadpole. Tadpole is just basically subject to tides, but the frog can conduct its own energy. But what do you need to let go of so that you can hop and jump freely from lily pad to lily pad, dive under the water and hop on land? It's a tidal creature. It's what it's what Cancerians are. You belong between the tides. You belong in those tidal pools. You don't belong lost in the depths or, you know, um, um, trapped in the ice. You don't belong. You belong being able to feel the sunlight on your face. And frog can do that. So um, this is this is what do you need to do to move to the next step of your life? What do you need to let go of? I would not be surprised that this week. This being your central energy and this being your crowning energy, I would not be surprised if this week you are working on a lot of projects, spring cleaning type projects where you're getting rid of a lot of old stuff, old material items that you don't need anymore. You're preparing for a shift in your life and you're doing that by downsizing your material things, those things that, that clutter your life, those things that hold you down. It's more, however, than just, it's, it's not just emotional clutter, it's material clutter. Because remember, material clutter holds emotional things. So in order to release those memories, we have to release those tangible items. So it's a really good job. I would not be surprised if you are spring cleaning, packing things up, getting rid of things, preparing. Preparing yourself to be lighter so that you can be more agile and travel at will. Um, here we have be at home. Stay close to home. I mean, I'm just going to take this literally. This is heart chakra energy. It's earth energy. It's being close to your home and in your house is a very, very good idea for the next seven to 10 days. This is 100% where you need to be. What place do you need to be? 
where you feel most comfortable. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a building. It could be with a, around a group of people. Where do you consider home? That's where you should be this week. Get your ass there. And you, it's also a statement of you'll be doing a lot of work around the house this week. You'll be, I don't know, fixing up walls, taking care of things, patching up things, going through things, emptying things out, clearing things out. Taking care of your actual home will actually help you to clear out your emotions, clear out your physical space. Clearing out your physical space will help you clear out your emotional space. <clears throat> Time for a beginner mind. Two Aquarian cards. Energies of Aquarius are the bigger picture. Think of the bigger picture and think of people outside of you. I know it always seems like we're always thinking of other people, but deep down inside, we all know that we actually get off on being that person that other people count on. So that's not exactly altruistic, is it? No, this is about actually just giving it away altruism just letting it go this could be donating this could be donating your time this could be sharing your time doing a lot of charity giving like i said when you're clearing things out and giving a lot of things away to charities just to just it does help you yes but it also helps somebody else essentially though this is the energy of forget about your shell this guy goes full on with its spikes out he walks into the room and people know not to mess with him and he's really proud of who he is and he's not even like he's not even like walking up to people like what he's just like walking through the room and hey you know you know not to mess with me you know <laughs> you know so this is essentially know that you have everything that you need to protect you as you move on into the future. This is also opening your mind, clearing out your mind, knowing that you have earned and grown all that protection that you need. It's already with you. You don't have to worry. You don't have to overthink. You actually have everything you need. This is loving yourself and loving your imperfections and releasing all of those things that clutter up you being able to do that. And then last but not least, more Aquarius energy. Are you guys dealing with Aquarius? Like what's going on, Cancerians? Are you dealing with an Aquarius? Is there an Aquarius in your life that's coming into your life or inspiring you in some way, guiding you in some way, counseling you in some way? This is wisdom. This is foresight. This is seeing in the dark. This is being able to see clearly and see the situation for what it is. And what I think it is, Cancerians, is opportunity. Four plus three is the energy of seven. Seven is creation. You see the opportunity and you see the way forward. You see that it's going to take hard work, hard work, and you see that it's going to take sacrifice, but you also see that there's this energy of maturation. There's this energy of, I can do it. I've grown into it. I'm used to it. I would get bet that you've already been through these kind of trials before. So it's not gonna be as hard as it was the first time around. It's not gonna be as burdensome. You're not gonna feel as, as, as um, isolated or alone. You're gonna remember and realize spirit has my back because you know what? I know from the past experience, I know that I, I, I somebody always saw me through. I wasn't alone. I can hearken back to what I knew from experience, like experience and memories are different things. Experience has actually become a part of you. It's become a part of your intuition. So it's almost like, um, I know that I've experienced this before. I've gotten through it before. Now I'm wise. And so I can see in places that I couldn't before. This is being able to see something very, very clearly from miles and miles away. Um, so that I guess, no, that's it. I want to know who this Aquarius is. I really do. Because Cancerian, you and Aquarius usually don't like sort of play in the same field. Be really interesting. What is the energy grounding Cancer's reading? This energy grounding Cancer's reading. Grounding Cancer's reading. You could also be spotted by somebody. Um, time to let go, but it's coming out in reverse, which is just this sense of it's very, very difficult for us to let go, but it's also the psyche. Um, Groundhog rules the underworld, um, you know, because he, you know, um, digs all those little pathways through. He rules the underworld, and this is that underworld of the psyche, and 
almost kind of maybe staying in it this week or being at home and, and, and curling around it and not wanting to not wanting to come out <laughs> almost like the groundhog does not see his shadow <laughs> kind of energy and it's like uh, six more weeks of winter kind of thing all right well that's kind of what it is it's also just saying stay where you are stay where you are don't try to take a leap forward now your leap forward now is clearing out where you are in preparation for making yourself lighter to be able to go the distance when the opportunity arises time to let go oh yeah you're still holding on to something but i also think it's a grounding energy so it's like yeah all those things that you've held on to that you that have helped you feel comfortable those are what's going to be challenged this week and you're the one that's going to be challenging them. Best case scenario, you're the one that's going to be challenging them. You're going to be like, do I really need this? Do I really need this in my life anymore? That's what this week is for. Digging. Digging through those things that you didn't want to let go of. Oh, and now we have three, the energy of three, which is balance, peace. Um, this is Libra energy. It could be love. It could be a love that you didn't want to let go of. It could be um, the idea of love that you didn't want to let go of. But it's generally peace coming your way or basically living in those tunnels, digging through those undergrounds searching through those things that you didn't want to let go of is what's going to give you balance and peace you're going to find peace in doing this you're going to find a tranquility in doing this why because it's going to keep you close to home but it's also going to keep you in motion it's where you belong right now it's also spirit watching over you And giving you the assignment it's like divine intervention to help to, it's like divine intervention divine guidance hey cancerian this is the way to go this week usually grounding energy has three cards but they were reluctant to come out hold on let's see if we get another one for you Just two. Time to let go and peace. Mm -hmm. Let me turn the camera around. Hold on. Crowning your energy is a new beginning. Trust in the magic of newness. Okay. This could also be the energy of giving birth or conceiving a child. But this is definitely conceiving a new life, bringing a new life into the world. And we all know if we've been parents... That that's not easy not only is the actual birthing process not easy sometimes the actual conception process isn't easy and um definitely rearing a child isn't easy and yet it is always magical um magic manifestation is magic it's just slow moving manifestation and as soon as you hit the 3d world it's like energy slows down because it turns into matter and matter is heavier it's not as malleable. Pure energy is infinitely malleable, but but um, but matter is not malleable because of the state that it's in. Well, that's the 3D world, and that's why magic is manifestation is magic of the 3D world. And that is just a reminder that yes, you're starting over, and this is going to be grudgery. This is going to be not be grudgery. This is going to be the gr the the grudge work, the the grunt work. That's what I mean. This is going to be the grunt work. And this is going to be the week that you're going to do the grunt work. Why? Because spirit says so. It's going to actually give you peace. You're going to find a peace and a release from those things that are holding you back or making you feel detached or isolated. 
um, you're going to there's you're going to feel a great sense of release by uncluttering your life and going through those things that you'd wanted to hold on to they're going to bring back memories and those memories are going to release all that pent-up energy inside of you do this close to home protect your home it could also mean defend yourself you're going to have to defend yourself against somebody that's been hawking you or watching you or um 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 or, or even just the feeling of being of feeling threatened but this is an owl spirit isn't in reverse i just think that you understand the need for something right now yeah scrap what i just said i don't because I, I don't i don't feel it there's lots of different ways to read the cards and the way that i'm feeling it right now is just this wisdom that's come over you this week and a preparedness that's come over you this week to be able to move on. Move on by staying in one place right now. This is not the week to move. This is the week to prepare to move. I'm going to continue this in the extended reading. God knows what's going to come out. And then we're also going to do the romance reading. So hopefully I will see you guys over there. Link is below.